Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about a very interesting project that in my opinion has a high potential of being listed on the Binance exchange and this project is called Seascape, right? I know that uh, the name of the token that you're currently seeing on the screen right now is Crowns or CWS. But uh, trust me that this is the native token of the uh, website called Seascape. So if you guys want to go to their website and learn more about their documents, I highly recommend you to go to their website seascape.network in order to learn more about the project before you invest in this token, right? So what is Seascape? Seascape is basically the ultimate game platform designed around the DeFi and NFT economy, right? So currently we have a lot of projects that do DeFi and there are a lot of other projects that only focus on the NFT economy, right? So we don't have a project that bridges both the DeFi economy and the NFT economy and Seascape aims to do just that, right? It aims to be this ultimate uh, platform that aims to focus its attention not only on the DeFi space, but also on the NFT space, right? So it's a very interesting concept that they have chosen, powered by the Crowns token, right? So Crowns token is basically the native token of this uh, ecosystem, uh, and its ticker symbol is CWS, and we'll talk about the token in a few seconds, based on substrate, which means it is technically compatible with Polkadot, right? game across the chain so you can game across multiple different chains some of them being you know ethereum binance smart chain and the poker art ecosystem right so again they have this big uh, you know uh, button that says play to earn you can click on it and you can try their uh, platform yourself so i highly encourage people to try this because they do have some really high quality games that may entice most uh, many people right so key features, what are the key features that they have? So game chains, right? So any game released on the Seascape platform will have the option to create their own blockchain with its own set of rules, right? So if uh, a game chooses to release on the Seascape platform, they will have the option to create their own blockchain if they have to, or they can use the existing tools that are provided by Seascape but if they provide their own, if they produce their own blockchain, uh, they can also make it in such a way that it has its own set of rules and functionalities, right? So that's a pretty cool feature here. So the next uh, feature is cross-chain bridge. So cross-chain interoperability solution with heavy focus on games, keep all assets connected to major chains such as Ethereum and Algorand, right? So one other thing that I forgot to mention is that this chain is not only compatible with Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain and Polkadot, but it's also compatible with the Algorand blockchain, which is something that uh, we will cover in a future video because it is an upcoming uh, uh, you know, uh, ecosystem that's growing uh, day by day. Um, there are a lot of projects that are des uh, deciding to uh, establish themselves in the Algorand blockchain and that will be like a uh, solution for uh, uh, high-speed, fully decentralized and low-cost DeFi, DeFi and NFT-based interactions, right? So you can uh, interop, interop uh, with the multiple different blockchains. Uh, some of the examples that they're giving is between Ethereum and Algorand, but there are, uh, you know, Binance Smart Chain and Polkadot, which will also be, uh, you know, a factor to consider because by interop, uh, interoperating with multiple different blockchains, you can assure uh, you know high uh, liquidity, right? And also, uh, since this main ecosystem is based on games and NFTs, uh, it's going to be uh, really cool to have gaming mechanisms that uh, are available in multiple different blockchains, right? So NFT and token decks, decentralized cross-chain bonding curve market to allow seamless price discovery of digital assets for users and projects, right? So basically, you can use the decentralized bonding chain curve uh, in order to allow for seamless price discovery uh, of you know, all the digital assets in this ecosystem for users and for any project that want to access it, right? Um, so NFT standard, the ultimate cross-chain NFT standard based on substrate, 
designed to optimize usage, trading, and gamify DeFi, uh, DeFi features, right? So basically, uh, if you uh, take a gaming platform that is available on multiple different blockchains, uh, you kind of have a very limited options or some of the options are not really well established, so you can't really consider them, right? But uh, Seascape aims to be this uh, the ultimate cross-chain NFT standard based on substrate where, where you can participate on DeFi, NFTs as well as gaming, right? Uh, designed to optimize usage, trading and uh, gamify DeFi features. So again, all of this is encompassed in this, in this particular platform. Game store, user facing game, uh, game store built with DeFi in mind. Any user can serve as a proof of stake validator. Monthly game passes for users, no fees for game devs, right? So basically there's a lot to unpack here. So let's go with the first uh, sentence, which is basically user facing game store built with uh, DeFi in mind. So if you are a, a def if you are a, a person who's mainly focused on DeFi, but not the gaming industry, or if you're focused on gaming, but not the DeFi industry, you're basically uh, given this opportunity to, you know, uh, this, this platform offers uh, stores, like game stores, uh, user-facing game stores that are built with DeFi in mind, which means, you know, it attracts people from all different facets of the ecosystem, right? Any user can serve as a proof of stake validator. Again, this is something that uh, will definitely be something that will help the, the platform become more decentralized. So any user who wants to interact with this ecosystem can become a proof of stake validator by, I believe, by holding their tokens, which we'll cover uh, in a few seconds. Monthly game passes for users, no uh, fees for game devs. So if you uh, are interested in getting monthly uh, passes, again, this platform has, has you covered. And also, if you are developing games on this ecosystem, there is no fees for you to develop games, right? So that's a pretty cool feature. So DeFi gamified, implement gamified aspects of DeFi and traditional finance into games as part of core gameplay, in-game staking, CDPs and more, right? So uh, when you are looking to uh, implement gamified aspects into the DeFi, uh, you know, gamified aspects of the traditional uh, ecosystem as well as the traditional financial ecosystem as well as decentralized finance ecosystem uh, into games, then this is the place for you, right? And they're planning to, uh, you know, um, they, they are planning to bring in a lot of new features, but some of the current features that are available are in-game staking, uh, CDP, and much more, right? So that's a pretty cool uh, selling feature. So architecture design. So here are some of the, like, you know, a uh, little bit of a technical uh, information that may potentially be uh, useful for doing your research. So again, um, they're trying to uh, use this uh, chart in order to explain how uh, things will be interoperable, uh, not only between you know uh, these three chains, Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and Polkadot, but also in multiple other chains that, we're, that they're eventually planning to expand, right? So let's go to the crowns, which is basically the native token of this ecosystem. So crowns basically connects the NFT ecosystem with the decentralized ecosystem, which is at the bottom. And you know you can also interact with Uniswap, you know, and other uh, Ethereum-based and, uh, you know, Binance Smart Chain and Polkadot-based uh, dApps, right? It's a pretty cool feature. So Crowns is a token designed to reward all key stakeholders of the gaming ecosystem. It will be introduced via Block Lords uh, as a way to reward all players who prove themselves worthy. Uh, this token will be the way for most players to experience the power of DeFi gaming in a fun, user-friendly way, right? So let's uncover each and every sentence in detail. So Crowns is a token uh, designed to reward all key stakeholders of the gaming ecosystem, right? So if you are uh, interacting with this game and if you want to be a key stakeholder for this ecosystem, you are, be, you are rewarded with the Crowns token, which is the native token of Seascape. Uh, it will be introduced via Block Lords. Again, there's a feature that they have called Block Lords, and it's kind of like a very interesting way they award uh, you know, stakeholders, which is basically uh, they reward players who prove themselves worthy, right? So each and they have multiple games in, the, in their ecosystem, and there are different ways by which you can prove your worthiness within each games. I will let you guys explore that option. Uh, this token will be the way for most players to experience the power of DeFi gaming in a fun, user-friendly way. So basically, 
uh, if you are mainly focused on games but you have no clue about DeFi but you want to learn more about DeFi, in this platform you can not only play games but you can also learn about DeFi and experience DeFi uh, based gaming system within this platform in a user friendly way, right? So that's something that we have to see from a lot more projects in the future if you are to see mass adoption, especially from uh, people with different backgrounds, right? Some people are mainly focused on gaming, some people are mainly focused on decentralized finance, some people are only in it for staking rewards, some people are in it for, you know, uh, trading. So there are lots of, uh, you know, different uh, people groups that need to be brought into the uh, decentralized uh, crypto ex economy. And one of the ways to do that is to use platforms like uh, Seascape and to, you know, uh, provide awareness for gaming as well as DeFi based uh, you know, interactions with the gaming ecosystem in order to not only get rewards, but also uh, help enhance the uh, growth of decentralized finance as well as NFT gaming, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, various ways to stake, borrow and utilize crowns will be released periodically to players as the ecosystem grows, right? So uh, since it's relatively in its early stages uh, right now, the platform is still uh, you know, uh, like attracting a lot more users and it's waiting for it to grow and reach a specific level. And as it's growing, there will be opportunities to, you know, interact much more with the system and the crowns, uh, the, you know, the Seascape uh, team would provide periodic updates that will help players to, uh, you know, grow along with the ecosystem, right? Uh, so PayWave, each player who owns crowns will receive pay wave drop, right? So this is something very interesting. So when you hold crowns tokens, you are uh, eligible to receive pay wave drop, right? So what is pay wave drop? We'll look at it uh, right now. The pay wave supply is taken entirely from the spent amounts of tokens in the Seascape network ecosystem and game platform. So a pay wave is basically uh, the distribution of rewards uh, based on the amount of usage of the platform. So you, if you uh, hold crowns tokens, you're eligible to receive uh, a pay wave drop, which, which means that uh, whenever an interaction happens in the Seascape platform, you are entitled for a small portion of fees, which will be dropped, uh, in, which will be provided to you in the form of the pay wave drop, right? Uh, this pay wave function makes um, makes it easy uh, to create a passive way to increase uh, stacks of crowns holders, further pushing growth, uh, growth of its community. So again, by, uh, I think I missed a, a, a sentence here. So the pay wave supply is uh, taken entirely from the spent amount of tokens in the Seascape network ecosystem and game platform, right? So where will pay wave come from? Uh, pay wave will basically come from the spent amounts of the tokens in the Seascape network ecosystem and it makes it easy for people to create a passive way to increase their stake of the crowns tokens and thereby uh, improving and growing the community as a whole because people like to receive rewards by participating in staking or you know by holding tokens they just want to receive passive income in the form of fees or dividends or whatever. So by rewarding uh, crown token holders with a, a you know, pay wave reward, they are basically uh, encouraging them to hold on to their stake because by holding on to their tokens, they are con constantly receiving rewards which will improve their stake and grow the economy, uh, grow, grow the uh, economy of the community, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Seascape ecosystem. So Seascape ecosystem is basically pictureized in this uh, nice chart here. So block lords CDP is basically where uh, you know the lending happens, and uh, crowns drop is basically where the al drop is dropped. Uh, uh, I mean, it's basically a cr uh, like a crowns drop, not an al drop. So I just need to make it clear. So you know when 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 people interact. They basically interact with all these features, including NFT markets, and they are basically, you know, by holding the crowns tokens, they're basically rewarded with the pay wave drop, right? Uh, DeFi gamified, uh, gamified aspects of traditional finance can easily be implemented into games as part of core uh, gameplay features. So again, uh, any form of gamified aspects of uh, like traditional finance can be implemented into games as part of the core uh, gameplay features, right? Uh, Block Lords, uh, Seascape's flagship game, 
is serving as a as the proof of concept for all of these features with examples uh, being title ad drops crown staking item cdps as well as a brand new concept the player created coin pcc that clever players will be able to implement when they want to create their own in game currency right so again so the block lords is basically seascape's flagship game so that's one of the main games that you can use to interact with the uh, platform and test out the platform itself so what when you're participating in block lords or when you're playing uh, block lords what you are basically uh, getting is uh, the block lords uh, game is basically serving as proof of concept for all these features with examples being so by by being a part of block lords you are basically uh, participating in title ad drops crown staking item cdps as well as a brand new concept which is basically the player created coin right so by participating in the block lords you are not only uh, getting all the other benefits but you are also able to create a player created coin which is basically uh, like a token within the platform that players can create if they want to implement if they want to create their own in game currency right so that is pretty cool these are way uh, these are all ways for the players to not only increase their in game power uh, but also earn real profits while they have fun with the game right again for all the gamers out there uh, who who mainly focus on playing games uh, you can also earn some passive income by participating in this ecosystem uh, especially by playing uh, block lords and you'd be entitled for all of these benefits plus you can also increase and earn real profits while playing the game as well right nft economy while many realize the potential of non fungible tokens they still haven't reached their full impact on the ethereum network right again this is very true because nfts are only seeing the beginning and there is a long way to go for people who collect art and people who uh, you know are really uh, into art and uh, art and you know uh, holding something that's very rare and very unique so this will definitely garner more attention from the uh, you know big institutions not only big institutions but also from people who are collecting arts uh, avidly and uh, once they start realizing the full potential of nfts uh, you know not only will the ethereum ecosystem grow but nfts e- nft ecosystem itself will flourish and grow right so uh, again one of the reason why nfts potential is not fully realized within the ethereum ecosystem is because of its high transaction fees and uh, slow transaction speeds which is definitely going to be addressed very very soon and this will definitely bring in more people into the ecosystem Uh, of uh, nfts and that will drive more adoption right the first step in making nfts a true vital part of the defi economy is to ensure that they can generate earnings for their holders right this is very true this is very well said uh, if you are holding an nft right now the chances are that you may potentially be eligible for a few ad drops depending on the nature of the nft that you are holding but a majority of the nfts that you are holding do not earn you anything right i mean if you do uh, want to earn something from nft you would have to sell it at a profit prior to the market uh, going down right and each and every nft ecosystem has its own pumps and dumps so when you get into an nft pump and you ho- you buy something which is very expensive um, but you need to make sure that you sell it as soon as possible so that you can make a profit right apart from that the nft doesn't really serve any value it's uh, again people who genuinely like art may find uh, a value in just by holding something which they already love when it comes to art and uh, you know uniqueness of an art but people who want to you know earn a passive income they don't have any means to earn passive income with with holding an nft uh, at the time being right and this is something that's uh, you know trying to be addressed by seascape so with the possibility of collateralizing nfts to take out debt renting them out for a set uh, or variable rates and trading them on an open exchange the potential use cases within block lords and future games are endless right so block lords which is one of the mini games in the seascape ecosystem so is basically focused on using nfts as a means for people to earn a uh, passive income right you could either uh, just like how you would you know deposit a crypto asset to 
to borrow against it you can uh, use your nft to borrow and get a stable coin loan in a decentralized manner you can also uh, lend your nft to earn a sp- uh, you know a lending rewards or you can also use it in an open exchange to trade it right uh, you can do so many things with an nft in block lords that it's going to revolutionize the space right so that's pretty cool so if you see the road map they have several important updates they have launched uh, uh, crowns on uh, you know uh, february 2021 they're planning to launch seascape defi ecosystem uh, on march 2021 which is this month and they are planning to begin polkadot slash kusama integration which will happen in q2 of 2021 in q3 they are planning to announce block lots 3d and new vrip which is going to be huge um, because block lots is already a, one of the most popular games in this ecosystem uh, q4 of 2021 they plan to they plan to launch game store which is going to be a big deal as well uh, in q2 of 2022 they plan to release Seascape SDK for mobile and consoles as well as PC platforms on Q3 and Q4 of 2022 they plan to release the Seascape multi-chain hub right so there's still a long way to go and several features are not yet available so uh, again if you are really interested in this project and you want to invest in this project uh, there is some exciting times uh coming for this project right so let's look at the investors here again this is one of the reasons why i believe that this project has a high chance of being listed on binance uh and i believe you can also already see in the screen at the bottom right uh, bo- bo- bottom left corner of the screen that binance's name is already in the investors list which um, is true and binance labs have officially uh invested in seascape and that is definitely going to be a reason for binance listing this token right so Uh, have that in mind if in case you want to make some quick short term gains or if you want to make a long term or if you're a long term holder of this token then that is very great as well right um seascape network has received funding from the following top organizations again binance being in the top so binance uh, spark digital capital uh, nebias capital paka uh, do capital uh, jr capital and several others which uh, you know i am not really familiar with and i can't really pronounce their names but uh, therefore they are also available uh, as investors right so let's look at the partners now they partnered with chainlink metadao binance smart chain again which is definitely something that um, will be a platform uh, for supporting you know uh, seascape uh, moonbeam um uh you can also see it on open sea dao maker uh, poly network matic uh, which is currently polygon dap radar uh, dap review uh you know bakery swap as well as treasure island right so again some of the big giants supporting this uh, uh, or some of the big giants partnering with the seascape and supporting its growth and development so again and one other information that i wanted to tell you guys is basically um tomorrow on march 24th Pancake Swap is offering a syrup pool where cake holders can stake their cake in order to earn CWS tokens, right? So if you want to accumulate passive CWS tokens, then Pancake Swap is the potential location for you, right? So again, that's a pretty cool, um, you know, uh way to, you know, uh do uh you know the, you know to set up the defi and the nft ecosystem that crowns uh, or seascape is doing so now let's go back to the coin gecko page for crowns right so as you can see the the token is currently ranked as 535th uh, ranked token by market cap on coin gecko and it's currently trading at 46 dollars and 33 cents and re- it recently saw a 12.3% increase in the past 24 hours right this is because of the pancake swap announcement pancake swap announced today that they will be supporting uh, you know a CWS rewards in their syrup pool for people who stake cake right so that has dr- uh, driven most people uh, you know uh, to be excited for this and that has obviously had a price positive price impact for the token if you look at the market cap again for what this project is aiming to do in a cross chain function functional manner with uh, you know uh, everything from borrowing lending and uh, getting loans from uh, nfts uh, you can clearly see that the market cap is very low it's a very low market cap gem in my opinion it's only 38 million dollars in market cap at the time of making this video 
and there is incredible potential for this token and one of the big things that i like about this token is its max supply it's only 10 million tokens in max supply and uh, that's pretty low like my threshold is anything uh, on or below 100 million tokens this mil this token is 10 million and it's it's pretty tiny like pretty pretty small for such a high value project and that also explains the high price range right for this token uh, if you see the circulating supply however uh, there's only 828 thousand tokens in circulation so obviously for the short term you can expect some form of an inflation uh, because of staking rewards and all the other fun stuff which will eventually be dumped into the market thereby causing the price of this token to slump but bear in mind that since it's it's only having 10 million as its max supply the uh, you know the price slumping won't last long and the scarcity of the token itself will drive this price uh, price of the token high even if the promises that this project has made doesn't really come true right so that's a scarcity factor that i really like about this token as well i like several factors about this token but this uh, price scarcity is also one thing that i like and if you look at the charts this is also one of the other things that i like about this token you can clearly see that this token is overall moving in the right direction so if you see this token's information was available since the first of february uh, it's a very new token as i mentioned and it was initially trading at 11 dollars and 58 cents uh, february 1st and it immediately spiked to a high of 23 dollars or 20 23 21 dollars in that range and then it went down slightly and then spiked up again mid of february to a price of about 44 45 dollars uh, went back down went back up again reached 45 dollars came back down and was moving sideways for a few uh, weeks and then uh, on mid of march it started spiking up making its all time highs of 56 dollars and 61 cents and then coming back down uh, retesting the 39 dollars or 38 dollar range and then now it's planning to go back up again with the pancake swap announcement the price has obviously shot up and again i do believe that this project will get a binance listing which means this token can shoot up all the way till 70 to 80 dollar range in the short term again it will have a huge correction and come back and become a stable become stable at around 50 to 55 dollar range after the binance listing and then in the long term not only because of its very low max supply i would i, I do believe that because of all the uh, exciting stuff that they have in their pipeline this token is going to skyrocket like crazy right so if you look at the bitcoin comparative on the other hand again it's not really showing the bitcoin comparative uh, just a second okay perfect so you can also see a similar pattern in the bitcoin comparative right if you see on february uh, 1st uh, the token was worth 40000 satoshis per token and then it had any uh, like a relative all time highs of about 70,000 uh, Satoshis per token, went back down, uh, reached a relative all time highs of about, uh, you know, 90, like 85 to 90,000 Satoshis per token, went back down, had a spike. It's kind of like much more volatile in the, in the Satoshi comparative, went back up, down, and then again, mid of March, it kind of reached its all time highs of 100,000 Satoshis per token, came back down again, retested the uh, 66,000 Satoshi mark and now it's going back up at its current price of 84,602 Satoshis as of time of making this video, right? Again, a pretty good chart in both dollar, to dollar comparative as well as Bitcoin comparative. The, the price is generally moving in the upward direction. It's setting uh, higher lows and higher highs, which is a very positive sign and a healthy sign for this token. And uh, it's something that uh, if you guys want to buy into this token, maybe wait for a bit of a pullback, which I do anticipate uh, seeing uh, immediately after the pancake, uh, you know, syrup pool, uh, people who rush to get the uh, tokens, they farm the tokens and then they dump it to buy more cake or they dump it to buy BNB, right? And the dumping will cause this price point to reach about, uh, you know, maybe like $38 or 30, 39 to 30 eight dollar range in that range and uh, for satoshi comparison it's probably going to be be like 60 to 65 thousand satoshis in that range and that would be a really good entry point right for now since the price is going up i suggest um, waiting for a few days uh, once the pancake swap hype has cooled down you can definitely get a discounted price 
for a very high quality token, right? Uh, if you look at the exchanges, it's available on Uniswap, it's available on MXC, Gay.io, and I believe that's all there is to it. So Uniswap, if you want to buy it from Uniswap, the gas fees is very high and the transaction uh, is very low. Unless you're applying to buy huge volumes, I wouldn't recommend getting it from Uniswap. I'd probably wait because tomorrow I do believe that uh, once Pancake uh, Syrup Pool for CWS goes live, you can probably get it from pancake swap at a very cheap and quicker uh, you know transaction fees and you can kind of like load up on this token right because of its high uh, you know uh, again you can buy it after after the you know initial uh, you know uh, pump has uh, or initial hype around pancake swap syrup pool has subsided but uh, i do believe that uh, pancake swap would be the best option to buy it as a, with a cheap and uh, you know fast transactions right uh, I don't know about MXC and Gay.io. If you guys know anything about these exchanges, then I suggest you to you know uh, you know get it from there if you're comfortable with that, right? Uh, if you don't, then I would suggest you to try it with a small test test money and then see if it's uh, you know if you can withdraw it if there's no issues with these exchanges and then you can buy you know moderate to large sums of uh, money uh, mo moderate to large sums of tokens from these exchanges, right? So what's my verdict on this? I believe that this token. Uh, not only being being uh, because of the fact that it's funded by Binance Labs, but because of the fact that you know Pancake Swap has decided to list it in the syrup pool, uh, there is a high chance that this token will be listed on Binance very soon. And since we are in the NFT hype, uh, it only makes sense to uh, fr from Binance's perspective to capitalize on this token by listing it on on their exchange, right? Uh, but bear in mind that in the moment it gets listed on Binance. The price would spike depending on whether you are investing in for the short term or long term you might want to sell a portion or you might if you if you don't feel like you want to hold this token for long term you can sell out of it completely and come out of it but uh, i am personally going to hold a decent bag after it comes uh, comes live on pancake swap uh, and uh, i will probably also like you know uh, wait till it gets listed on binance and sell half of it and then you know use the rest of it as moon back right Again, remember guys, you guys are not regular investors, you guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you like my video, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.